What is up guys, COD Gameplay here, and thank you for tuning in to the second episode of Choose My Class. This is a new series that I just started that you guys, the viewers, choose my class that I play with and I go for the best possible gameplay that I can get. This week's episode was chosen by Crazy Kid, and he chose me to use the MSMC with Extended Mags Long Barrel, the B23R with the Extended Mags Attachment, then he wanted me to use Semtex, Shock Charge, Lightweight, Scavenger, and Dexterity. And if you guys are new to this series, what you do is you use the Pick 10 system. Pick 10 things you want me to use in the Pick 10 system, and I will go into a game, I'll use it. Either the highest rated comment, will I'll use that, or I'll choose a different comment in the... Uh, in the comments and go from there and if you guys are watching this on Machinima be sure to check out my channel link is in the description if you guys want to see each episode I post on my week on my channel one week early so I have the series going on and I really like getting the viewers active and involved I, I have a ton of fun trying to get the game plays and sometimes it's difficult like you guys <laughs> one of the things I tried two di or I tried yeah two different ones that I was going for for like a day and I couldn't get an adequate gameplay that I thought that I could use that would be good enough um, one of them was using nothing and it with that it was insanely hard that was one of the top comments for a while and they just said use only your combat knife no perks at all don't choose anything and I went to the game, I went to probably about 10 games. The best game that I got was around 38, no, it was 48 and 9. And that's pretty good considering that it was only knife. But even then, it was like, oh, it was so frustrating. And I was playing the objective, but no, I don't think enough. And uh, it was just a whole bunch of different things that I thought, you know what? I'll try that a different time, uh, depending on what you guys still think. If you guys really care about the score, if you guys just want to see entertaining gameplay, you want to see me rage, all that good stuff, it doesn't matter. By the way, I'm recording this not live, as you guys can see my face. I'm not playing right now. I'm recording this afterwards because I think it's it's better if I could talk about the gameplay, what I did right, and what I did wrong, so you guys can actually uh, improve. And so, you notice in this game, I'm using the orbital, the dogs, and the swarm. If you want to get a very, very high game uh, gameplay and with great score, I think this is the best possible score streaks to be going. Look at that. I turned the corner. Oh, didn't see that guy coming. I did not expect that coming at all. And one pro tip. Um, you notice that I never, ever call my orbital. I don't call it in the first, like right when I get it. There's a reason for that. It's because when I go for a high gameplay... I trust my instincts, I trust my gun enough that I think that I can get the dogs. Because if I can save that orbital for after I get that swarm, it will almost guarantee me to stack my killstreaks again. So I use my dogs, then I use my swarm, and now I'm alive and it's, get, it's bringing the bar up. Look, it's getting even closer to my next orbital. And once I come around halfway to my next orbital, um, I will call in the orbital that I have. And that will get me my next orbital VSAT. And then from there, I'll get another dogs swarm, and I just repeat that process. So if you can get the dogs while getting nothing else, you are absolutely set. And that is very, very, very difficult because the average player, not going to lie, probably cannot get a dogs uh, just with nothing else. That's like just going straight from zero to the dogs in score streak with using nothing else. And so... At times, you're going to have to get lucky. Yeah, sure, you're going to have to get lucky. But at other times, look at this. Watch this. They spawn here as I went deep in their spawn. Like, oh, I did not see that coming. When I went into that situation, I was not looking at the map. I was completely focused on the players, and usually I'm focused on the map a lot. But in that situation, I was looking straight at the players. I was like, you know what? I can get this. I can get this two players or three players, and I can get my next kill streak. And what happened is they all spawned right there while I did not see them. That was one of the biggest mistakes that I made. Right here, the claymore goes off. I know they're prepared for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going into that room. So I'm playing it safe. I'm trying to make sure that I do not I do not die. Because in my opinion, and I think most good players' opinions, a death is more important than getting one kill. Because if you can stay alive for a longer period of time, that means that your kill streak is going to be even better. Um, because you'll be getting it, right? So, I always think a death is more important than a kill. That is one of the biggest mindset that you can go into a game 
and think. But when that, when I'm saying that, think about my gameplay. I'm rushing, okay? I'm not saying a death is more important than a kill and go in and just prone on the ground in the doorway and just sit there all game because that's not fun. That's not right. That's camping. No one likes camping, let's be honest, right? So, um, another thing that uh, I need to point out, in this class, you'll see that I'm always, I'm always using my cover to my advantage, okay? This is an SMG, but the MSMC has low recoil and not a really high fire rate, so it can go long distance if it needs to, right? And so I'm doing that to my advantage, and at times I'm proning, I'm trying to just take everything that I can to bring it to my advantage when I'm able to use that. Another thing, you notice how many tags I'm picking up. In this game, especially kill confirmed, you need to pick up the tags, okay? If you want to do good, you have to always pick up the tags. Um, it, I cannot emphasize the amount that I, I put on getting tags. You'll see people go into kill confirms, they'll drop 50 kills, maybe, if they're lucky, and they'll have maybe like 10 kill, 10 confirms, one deny. With me, if I go into a game and I drop 40 kills, I can guarantee you that I'll have at least 30 confirms. Because um, those confirms, although some people don't like always playing the objective, in, in reality, you need to play the objective to help your team win because that is the most important thing. The next thing, the kill streaks always come from playing the objective because the objective gives you so much bonus score that you're going to be getting that kill streak even easier, right? Another thing that I kind of do sometimes, I'll bait people with, with confirms and I'll try to let people come out while I'm waiting to get the confirm. And the last thing I'd like to point out, in kill confirmed, the only reason why a tag will go away is if the enemy dies or if the enemy leaves. So you do not always need to get that tag right away. Think about that. When you guys see tags disappearing, it isn't because it has a time limit, it's because they died again on the map. So always pay attention to, to where your teammates are and where they're engaging so you know if you need to pick up t that tag right away or maybe in 10 seconds because it won't make a difference. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys are watching this on Machinima Respawn, go in the description, click my channel, hit that subscribe button, and I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you so much for all my 8,000 new subscribers in the last two weeks. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm only 1,000 off of 100,000. Never thought I'd make it that far, but you guys are absolutely amazing. I can't thank you guys enough, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Anyways, I'm called Gameplay, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.